Hello, my name is Francis Omanefe. Today, let's create little log to compensate our 1D resistivity using Strata 5. Now, let's prepare our Excel sheets. We go to Excel. Open your Excel. Create new table. Then you open your 1D results, either in image or what have you. Okay, this is for my VS1. VS1. This is the a model result. Model result for my VS1. I have the name VE VES1. Then I have the density of layer is 28.5. Then the next tab is your thickness, it's starting from zero and it ends at 1.5, the depth. Then this layer is called sands, no topsoil, we call it topsoil. Next is your VS1, again, the activity of your layer 2 is 6. 0.78 it starts from 1.5 and ends at 4.77 and ends at 4.77 and because of its low resistivity value that is a clay formation a clay layer again your vs1 And this time, the from the resistivity of the layer is one ninety one point six. It starts at four point seven seven. Four point seven seven. It has no ending. That is the half space. But I want this to stop at ten meters. And this formation. Is clay sand. This formation is clay sand. Then you go to your next VS point. You create a new sheet. This is your sheet one. This next is your sheet two. Create a new sheet. Next, you call it your VS two. The next is our clay formation. Because of this low resistivity, and this is clay sand. Clay sand formation. Now you go to your next VS point, your model results. This is VS3. VS3. You open a new sheet to type it. Sheet 3. So you continue typing VS3, VS3, it has a restrictive value of 30.8 and this is its clay sand formation, clay sand. So you continue on and on and on to as many as you have continue typing it to 50 vs point 60 vs point even 100 vs point next let's when you are done with typing next let's open our software strata 5 oh i didn't save your work let's save it let's save our uh, Save it at the folder called desk mode. I'll call it on um, metrology. And save. So you can minimize. So this is our strata five. 
let's create a new borehole view um this borehole view has been has been edited already if you want to let me edit it back the way it was you go to your file you go to your piece setup so we have uh the log page log log pan log pan you have the header pan we have the footer pan you can adjust margins you can adjust the margins but i prefer to work with just the log pan so i will put it off footer pan none um head pan none so we are good to go like this click on ok so we have it here now this time i have a border so now let's draw our log we go to your log panel we have different kind of logs here you have your depth you have your line symbol you have your lithology you have couplets and what have you so first of all we want to create a lithology log when you click on it, you see your sign change. You paste it here. When you click on it to paste, it will ask you to open your Excel sheet. It's already on my desktop. You navigate, navigate to where you save your Excel. Save it at desk mode, which is here. Then it was called Lithology. You click on it and you click on Open. So it's going to align the different sheets for you. I had sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. Okay, so we have sheet one where we have our VS1 formation. I'll click on sheet one and click on open. So we have VS1, where the VS1, which is the name column. So you go to next. Here they ask you your ball ID, which is the name. Is in color one it started from where colon three from and it's ending at i mean from means when they ask you from from the top of the layer to the end of the layer so from is typed at layer colon three and ends in column four etology key is in column two The theology description is the column 5. You can leave the rest at the thoughts and click finish. So you have your information like this. You can edit the color to suit you. You can add pattern, but let, let's not go deep. So the next is to add your scaling, your depth, ruler, or what have you go back to your your log let's add our depth you click on the depth and you drop it here it can be adjusted to any how you want it so we have our 0 to 1.5 as our layer 1 so that is it um so next to add our top our description you click on complex text you click on it and you add it or oh, we are working with sheet one you're working with sheet one you click on it so you click open so you have it just like this okay we need to put our description in it okay to add our our description you click on the lithology this is depth this is lithology description you click on the lithology keyword the first one then you go to label and the property manager section 
you click on show label so when you are done you're satisfied like this you can go to your file export it as a graphics okay so let's call it vs1 vs1 let's you change the format from here to bmp preferably you have png let's use png now you click on save and ok so when you go back to the folder to save in test mode ok now here We have VS1 lit, you can display it, and this is your result. So now let's go for VS2. So to create um log2, you click on this table manager, this view manager. Make sure you're on view manager. Then you right click and you see create new ball view. Click on it or you press Ctrl B. You see it come here. So you do the same thing. You go to your view. I'm um, sorry, you go to your log. You click on lithology. You drop it to ask you which Google SFI you want to use. You click back on your lithology this time is on sheet 2 click on next um this is 3 starting the depth is starting from 3 to column 4 this is in column 2 and the other is in column 5 you click on finish here we go you go back to your log So to display your character, you click on your lithology keyword, go to your label, click on display label, but this is not showing, our top soil label is not showing, so you go to your go to your log screw to your data you see your lithology scheme click on the three dots you see for that of your sheet 2 you click on the plus this is for your topsoil everything is black you click on it click on it and change the color to Okay, so we are good like this. You click on file, you click on exports, click on graphics, you call this VES2. Let's leave it on PNG, click on OK. So that is how you create for sheet 3, sheet 4, sheet 5, sheet 6, sheet 7 to the end. 
If you have any question, please leave it on the comment section. Thank you very much. And please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe for encouragement so that I can continue doing these classes. Thank you very much.